Um, it is right around 1.35 p.m. on Wednesday, September 14th. Um, I just finished doing <laughs> some cleaning as usual this morning. Um, shook out a bunch of stuff. There were mice in here last night. I could actually hear them. They were making all kinds of rustling noises um, <clears throat> over by the door, and they were also in the bathroom. So I had to close the door because I don't know where exactly they're coming from. I mean, they're in the bathroom for sure. I don't know what they're doing in the bathroom because there's no food in the bathroom. I don't store anything in the bathroom other than uh, soap and dry goods and uh, boxes of supplies like, uh, you know, Band-Aids and first aid stuff and shampoo bottles and stuff like that. So I'm not sure why there are mice in my bathroom, but they were also around my bed area, which makes me think they're coming in through the window somehow um, because I keep having to shake out my sheets because the sheets are always covered with like paper shreddings and what looks like mouse droppings. And uh, that's not me putting anything on my sheets. I try to keep my sheets very clean and spray them down with rubbing alcohol and air them out and shake them out <clears throat> on a regular basis. So I shouldn't have to shake out my sheets every day because there's a bunch of shredded little tiny pieces of paper all over my bed. That means that there's mice running around and you can also um, just hear them. So anyway, I had to shake everything out again this morning. But the reason I'm making this video right now, other than the fact that I've tried to neaten my space as much as possible, and uh, there's still shredded paper all over the floor, that's from the mice as well. But I have completely emptied this drawer right here over the last two months. Um, I have completely emptied this drawer because an item that I had left in here for months every day, I used it to secure the lock on my door. This item disappeared from this drawer right here two months ago. So middle of July, this screwdriver, the screws and the screwdriver head that I have kept in this bag for probably since like February, um, the bag disappeared. And I always kept it right here in this drawer at the very front of it. So that, I, and you know, it was always covered, but I would just grab it as I was on my way out the door and I still have the padlock on my door. Um, this padlock right here. So this padlock I had to place on this door because people kept managing to get into this unit when I was away at work in February and March. I'd be gone for 12 or 14 hours a day. I'd leave the building at about 7.30 in the morning. I had to be at work by eight and uh, people would manage to get in here and they would vandalize my stuff, steal my underwear, um, put stuff in my shampoo and personal care items that smelled absolutely nasty. So I'd go to use like a brand new shampoo bottle after having purchased it and it would smell like fish or like dead animals or, you know, uh, very unusual smells for brand new shampoo bottles. Um, be, and whoever kept getting in here knew that I kept this screwdriver right here in this drawer. So again, two months ago, middle of July, sometime around July, I don't know, 10th or 12th or 15th, this screwdriver and the bag and its contents disappeared from where I always kept it right here. One day I went to lock up my door and the screwdriver was not there. I looked everywhere. Um, these are a bunch of dry goods that I store here. These are sheets and uh, shower curtains and pillowcases and blankets. And I just took everything down, looked for the screwdriver, looked behind all the bins, everything. It was gone. I looked in my bag. I looked under my bed. I looked under the sink. I looked everywhere. The screwdriver was gone. I took everything in this drawer out and put it back one by one. And the screwdriver was not in this drawer. Last week was my birthday and I was gone every day for about 10 hours, 12, sometimes 14 hours, spending time with my family for my birthday week. And during that time, somebody got in here and they started smearing the same kind of nasty uh, dead animal and fish smell on my clean stuff in this area that they had been months ago when I was away at work. So I know somebody got in here and just a few days ago, guess what I found right here? when I got home one day. This, it had been missing for two months. I had emptied out this entire drawer 
I deliberately keep that door by the door just to make it harder for anybody to just jump in here if they want to. I push push this entire pile of bins against the door sometimes when I leave to block it. So the drawer is part of that arrangement. It's not an accident that I have like a random heavy drawer filled with random items right next to the door. This screwdriver suddenly reappeared in the front of this drawer two days ago. Two, three days ago, just after I had been away for four days for my birthday and somebody made it clear that they had gotten in here and they were tampering with my stuff. That screwdriver had been missing for two months and because I had taken that entire drawer apart, removed all of the items in it and put everything back, I know that this screwdriver was not anywhere in that drawer. When I was looking for the screwdriver, it was gone. Somebody put it back in exactly the same spot where I had always kept it for the last five months before it disappeared. It was right here and it was just like that. All the items are in it, so the screws and the screwdriver head are in it. But as I keep mentioning in videos, the same person who's been taking things from the area by this door for years and years now, it's somebody who's lived on this floor longer than anyone else except for maybe Fanny. That's the same person who took this screwdriver held on to it for two months between mid-July and just a few days ago. That screwdriver was gone. It had been taken from this drawer. Again, I looked all over the place for it, took this entire corner apart, went through all the bags, looked behind the bins, looked in my handbags, looked under the bed, looked under the sink, everywhere in the bathroom. It was gone. And somebody put it back exactly right in this spot just a few days ago when I was away from my birthday. And they do this because they like to let me know that they're able to get in here when I'm away and they're able to mess with my stuff. That's how you know that you're dealing with a psychopath. The other item that suddenly reappeared a few days ago after being gone for um, also another two months is this item right here. This is a little bag that I had gotten in Jamestown in Virginia when I was there a few months ago in June. And I had kept it in this bag right here. All right, so this, I kept it in this bag just as a little cute little um, bag for anything I might need um, a, a bag for, you know, like a tissue bag or whatever, you know, to put like a used lipstick in or something like that to put hygiene items in. It, it was just a cute little souvenir bag. And I had kept it in this handbag, tote bag, since coming back from Virginia in the middle of June. And guess where <laughs> I found, and, and it had gone missing. So this had also gone missing from this tote bag a few weeks ago. I don't know where it went. It disappeared. I couldn't find it. It's like, okay, maybe it fell out. Guess where I found it also just a couple of days ago. I found it at the bottom of my birthday bag that I had been leaving um, in this area because I hadn't finished going through all of the items that my sister had given me for my birthday. This birthday bag I had been keeping like right over here for the last few days. Um, and it had only contained a few birthday items that my sister had given me for my birthday and some birthday cards. And just a couple of days ago, as I was going through this birthday bag and pulling out everything in it, I found this bag, this little souvenir bag from Jamestown that had disappeared from my tote bag a couple of weeks ago. And again, I had been keeping this souvenir bag from Jamestown in my tote bag so that I could use it as a little container bag or trash bag on the go. And I had always kept it in here. So whoever took this out of my tote bag a few weeks ago because it went missing, hung on to it for a few weeks. And then a few days ago when they managed to get in here when I was away, uh, I was gone five days last week. They put it in the bottom of my birthday bag. My sister did not put it in the bottom of that birthday bag. Um, I know I went through all the gifts in my birthday bag when I was at my sister's. That bag was not in my birthday bag. Somebody who keeps breaking and entering into this unit who knows exactly where I keep everything, including apparently everything I keep in my tote bag, they deliberately took that little Jamestown bag and put it in my birthday bag just to mess with stuff and to show me that they know exactly where I keep everything. They know exactly what I have in my tote bag. They know exactly what I have in this drawer that I deliberately keep by the door to sort of block it, block access when I'm away. And they take these things out, hang on to them for a few weeks, and then put them back in another spot where I'm going to find it right away. 
That's how you know you're dealing with a psychopath, folks. And the same psychopath has been doing this to my personal items for nine and a half years. Her name is Jasmine Arizari. The management of this building have informed me on multiple occasions that she is a disturbed person. She has done some bad things. They ha- they said, you know, don't piss her off, basically. Just don't interact with her. Um, she's a, quote, surveillance expert. She's a, quote, talented hacker who, quote, can get into anything. And also several police officers, probably about four or five now, from the E13 have themselves informed me that she is, quote, a psychopath, quote, has homicidal tendencies, quote, don't piss her off, quote, she has done some bad things. Those are from the police officers at the E13. I'm not the one coming up with this information. This is all verbal information I've received from law enforcement and from Greenville management in the process of bringing concerns about Ms. Irizarry's frequent breaking and entering, her picking, her lock picking abilities while I've been in this unit, the fact that she likes to tamper with my personal things, steal things from my bathroom, from my medicine cabinet. Um, She's been doing this for nine and a half years. This is the same person that's been doing this. This isn't somebody new who just moved in on the floor. Um, This is the same exact behavioral thumbprint of the psychopath who has lived in Unit 78 since 2013, and her name is Jasmine Irizarry. So again, this item went missing from this exact spot in this drawer two months ago, middle of July. I took this entire drawer apart, looked for this lovely item, removed everything, emptied the drawer, put everything back. It was gone. A few days ago, somebody put it right back here, exactly in that spot right there. So I had to see it. I came back and I was like, oh, somebody's been in here. Not only have they been in here, they're letting me know that they've been in here by putting this missing item that's been gone for two months right back in the spot where I kept it for months, was using it while I was at work to secure the lock on my door. And they put it right back in the same spot where it was taken two months ago. They did the same thing with my little Jamestown souvenir bag that I had been keeping at the bottom of this tote bag. How did it get from the bottom of this tote bag (laughs) into my birthday bag all the way over here when I had uh, emptied out my birthday bag when I was at my sister's and the Jamestown souvenir bag was nowhere in that bag. Somebody who knows what I keep in my tote bag likes to let me know that they know what I keep in my tote bag by taking items out of that tote bag, hanging onto them for a few weeks, and then putting them back in very obvious locations where I never would put them myself. So that's how you know you're dealing with a psychopath. And this psychopath is the same one who's lived in Unit 78 since 2013, according to Greenville Management and according to the E13 Boston police officers. Her name is Jasmine Arizari, and she is a known psychopath.